This is the Charters Towers and Dalrymple Archives. We've been here in the Excelsior Library since 2003. The job that we have is to look after and preserve and collect materials that we think are, are of importance to Charters Towers and what used to be the surrounding Dalrymple Shire. We began in 1996. It was a group of um, probably five to six interested people in history. We got the idea that whilst we wanted to write history and know more about, about the place we lived, we felt that it was of more importance to have material that you could work from. So the emphasis was, was put on being an archive, a place where we could collect. And then the spin-off would be that we would then have the materials to, to write our history. Certainly there are particular uh, and specific items that are go all the way back to um, the 1880s. We have um, information there and letters written by um, the discoverer of gold, Hugh Mossman, uh, which is important to us. Anything and everything that pertains to Charters Towers uh, is collected by us and, and therefore collectively it's, it's of value. We find that we use it on a regular basis because of the number of people who visit the town looking for the history, looking for family, looking for those lost connections. The cornerstone of this collection is the Don Johnson collection. Uh, Don wanted to write the definitive history of Charters Towers but unfortunately he, he died far too young um, and never achieved that. But all his uh, research papers and indexes has been donated to to the archives and that was one of the, the key things that we, we received in 1996-1997 so we're very grateful for that. The second thing I suppose that happened was uh, my good friend Mike Power who's collected for a lot longer than whatever I have uh, agreed to hand over his collection of photos which has come from many people giving him photos because they've always trusted and valued him as a, as a person who's lived and worked in this town much longer than what I have. Every month or so we will get a very interesting collection from a family that lives in the town here. We'll get stuff sent from all parts of Australia to be put into the collections. Just by being here people now have a, a belief that there is somewhere where they can send the materials. I guess our role can be seen in, in two ways. I've, I have alluded already to um, people visiting the town and seeking us out as a as a place of information. But we also find that um, there's always that that back groundswell of support uh, from the local people, because Charters House is always um, it's not just simply pride in their history, but it's the fact that, to my way of thinking, it's a living history. So many of the people that I talk to and and relate to here in the town who are locals. Um, have uh, uh, descendants of people who first came to this place and way back in the in the 19th century. So, in many respects, what we have here is a is a living history.